Hi everyone, welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to start with the login or the authentication. Essentially, we are going to get the access token. That's the basic step. So in all the other codes, uh, we will require the access token and it's a it's a fixed token, which is going to be fixed for the entire day. So I'm taking you to the documentation page on the left side. Once you click on the authentication steps, um, you will be uh, getting more details how it works and on the right side there is a sample code so I've just clicked on node and you will get the sample code here so I'm going to copy it in fact I've already copied it and let me take you to the code now so I've, I've pasted this code um, very slight modifications have been done the, the, the slight modifications are basically when I will get the access token I will save it in a text file so essentially how this code works is initially it is uh, it is just installing I would say the different modules then this is where we will have to add our app ID and the secret key now from where am I getting this uh, we had created our account if you remember so once you have created your account you can put this as your app ID and this is your secret key so those are the two things that I've added here and then we will have to put in our redirect URL this is the same redirect URL that I had added when I was creating the API then all this is essentially just creating the new instance as I said I've just copied it from the sample code so if you see here um, this is this has already been added here so I'm just using the same code and, and I'm pasting it here the first thing that happens is it will generate a URL so this is the URL and I'm going to uh, paste it here I will get the console log and then we'll have to click that URL and we'll have to get the uh, authentication code so let's run the code now so for that you can click on the terminal and node authentication.js press enter and once you press that you will see that it is giving us this URL so I'm going to just run this URL and when you, once you run the URL you for the first time you will get a confirmation like an authentication you will have to check all the boxes and click OK once you do that for the first time you will get activated the, the API will get activated but still, since I have already activated it I am not getting that pop-up anymore so what you'll have to do is you'll have to from the URL check everything after auth code equal to so keep going right side and you don't have to copy the last part which is and state equal to sample state so just remove that and just copy it so I'm just doing a normal control C to copy come back to your IntelliJ um, to the software and at the bottom in the token just press enter paste it and press enter once you do that it will say user logged in successfully because you can see here that once we get the access token and we we press it um, if the token has been uh, is, is successful it will say user logged in successfully and it will go ahead and save the refresh token as well as the access token in text files so you can see here that we have got the refresh token as well as the access token for us the more important part is the access token as I said this is going to be constant for the whole day and we will be using this later also so that is how we can do the authentication um, basically the idea is to get the access token so I hope this is clear I will see you in the next video now